So hopefully you have conducted your research about your topic that you have chosen. If you haven't conducted your research, you need to stop this video right now and you need to go back and do your research. Part two of the scientific method is doing that research and finding your purpose. And if you have, hopefully you have a lot of information that can help you with this next step, which is the hypothesis. And what a hypothesis is, is a guess, but it's not just any normal guess. I want you to think about this in this first bullet. It says, use your research to make an educated guess about how you think your experiment will turn out. An educated guess, think about that word educated, means you have learned something. In your research, you should have learned something about some of your materials that you're going to need to do your experiment. And so once you've learned about some things, now you can start thinking about what do you think is going to happen. So an example of a hypothesis statement is going to look like this. It's going to look similar to a testable question. It's going to have two parts to it. And so if you look at this, if I use or if I blank, then I think blank. And so here's an example. If I pour 100 ml milliliters of coffee on four pea plants and pour 100 milliliters of water in another four pea plants, then I think the plants with coffee will grow taller because caffeine will stimulate the plants. And using that word stimulate, that's a big scientific word. You want to use those words because the judges are looking for those words because that means that you have learned a little bit in your research to know that stimulate means to help them grow taller. And so the if I do this, then this statement. So if you go back to your testable question, it has that same format. If I change this then this will happen. And so you're making a prediction about what you think will happen based on what you learned about caffeine, what you learned about plant growth in your research. And so both of those things that you researched will help you to come up with a good, not just a normal guess, but an educated guess. So thinking about your topic, what you've decided to do your project on, thinking about your testable question, and your research, now start formulating a hypothesis. This should not be a quick thing to do. This should take you a little bit of time to think about how you're going to put it in this format. So right now, in a journal, on a device, or whatever you want to do to write, where you're writing down this information, where you've written your testable question, write down this statement, but leave that blank. If I blank then I think. It's the key word is I think because you don't know yet. You can't do a hypothesis after your experiment because this has to be before. Some people want to kind of cheat and think they want to put the hypothesis after the experiment because they want to be right. And so the hypothesis you have to understand and scientists when they do this all the time, most of the time they're wrong. Their hypothesis is incorrect. And so at the end of your science fair project you're going to make a statement. My hypothesis was and you're either going to say correct or incorrect. Most of the time, it's going to be incorrect. So if you're wrong in your hypothesis, guess what? You're in good company. Scientists all the time are wrong. And the whole uh, idea of a science fair project is learning from what you could have done or what you should have done in your experiment or in uh, your procedures of what you're doing. So take the time now. Think about your topic. Think about your testable question, what you learned from your research, now start writing your hypothesis.